Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be showcasing my background terrain collection uh, for Unreal Engine. This collection can be used to create landscapes for the backgrounds of scenes such as this. In this scene, the foreground was created using Megascans assets and the background is just a bunch of assets thrown together to make up a realistic landscape. These uh, landscapes have a few different controls. For example, I can control the color of individual layers like rock and uh, sand and grass, gravel. I can control the snow and I can control the rock slope at which the rock appears. And I'm going to jump in into a showcase map where I'll be showing you around and giving you an example of how to use these assets to create a realistic background in a few minutes. Okay, there we go. And this is a little scene I created as a showcase. It's a very simple created with Megascans assets. I've put a camera bookmark to this position here, so you can quickly jump into this view. You can set a bookmark on this menu here. And then whenever you press zero on the keyboard, it jumps back to this position. Okay, let's create a mountain landscape here in the background. And uh, since the theme of this scene here is quite alpine, I'm going to go with High Alps. Drag in this mesh. It's one of three. One of three, same meshes. The, sa the difference is the poly count this, or the level of detail. I picked the middle one, 25,000 polygons. And I'm going to drag this way back, something like this. Let's get back to our view. I think I need to go even more in the back. I could also scale the mesh, but I like them to be this big. Kind of keep the realism. There you go. Move this a bit and turn it around. This looks fine. I think I'm gonna change the sun direction to something like this. Get some nice shadows going on. Move it a bit here. Okay, now I'm gonna put something in the foreground. How about this one? You see, it's very big. I'm gonna change the scale. And another problem is that this mesh it looks very out of place right now. As you can see, the color is very different from this other one. For example, the rock is very different. A good way to see it is going to unlit mode. You see it has some very um, mesa-like, something a bit more deserty or very arid. Doesn't fit the theme very well, but this can be changed in the material settings. So we can change the grass color, can change the gravel color, and we can change the rock color as well. I think they all need some adjusting. Let's put the prevalence and the strength to one. And uh, okay, now we can pick something that fits more the green on this side of the mesh, on the other mesh, with this bit more light, maybe. Yeah, this looks nice. The gravel color right now, it's almost almost red. So we want something a bit more um, very neutral gray. This works fine. And the uh, rock color also needs to be the same as this one here in the background. And just gonna pick a color maybe and turn the brightness up a bit. This looks fine. The gravel still looks a bit green. I don't want that green tint. A bit darker. That's fine. All right. Let's check it in the lit mode from our original view. And now there is this strange shape here. It doesn't really fit the theme of the Alps. And we can go in into the mesh paint mode and just paint it out by selecting the paint mode and being sure that the erase color is set to black holding down shift for erase and painting on parts of the mesh we don't want 
here on the back side I think we also get rid of it this was too much mm -hmm. okay let's check it out from our normal view there's still this part here sticking out no there you go back to normal mode selection mode and you can see this now looks more in theme scale it down a bit and we can duplicate it holding down Alt on the keyboard and dragging another copy of this in here. And to avoid too much repetition, what we can also do is scale this mesh, but scale it in order to invert. And voila, it's been inverted. This means, yeah, it's been like mirrored. Better word for it. This gap on the right side, which needs filling, I'm going to put a mountain there, but scale the mountain down a bit, not to make it massive like the other ones. Actually, scale it way down and put it in the foreground like this. Let's check it out. Where do we want this mountain? Maybe something like this. And it's a bit too big. So we flatten it. And one thing we can do is adjust the height of the snow. Because right now, it's it's uh, the snow is accumulating at lower altitudes than on the rest of the terrain. We can go into the material and choose to use the custom snow and the custom snow only. The the snow gets placed based on the slope. As you can see here, I can adjust the slope at which the snow gets placed. And I can also adjust the height at which it gets placed. So let's check it out. What's a good height for it to appear? I think just at the tops like this is good. And another factor I can adjust is the slope at which the rock appears and at which the grass appears. And Using this parameter, I can make it more rocky or less rocky. Let's go into the unlit view to get a bit better sense of what's happening. You can see here, I don't want much rock because I've actually flattened the terrain. So, like this looks fine. Okay, okay, so let's put some more mountains here in the background. I feel like some very far off mountains are missing. Yeah, that's it for the terrain. Now, one last step I want to add some trees. The trees can be found under miscellaneous, the trees, it's a foliage type, so let's go in and do some foliage painting, drop them in, select them, 
gonna select the deciduous only and you gotta be aware of choosing the right density and the right scale to fit the terrain in this case you can see the values here and let's see what it looks like if I paint them on something like this and let's paint in some pine trees as well actually not on the snowy areas that's it yeah happy with the results I hope you enjoyed the video and if you buy this product I hope you will enjoy it and you will create some nice backgrounds okay thank you see you